Hey guys, recently I discovered heavy carbon buildup on piston top while changing spark plugs. That raised the concern on intake valve carbon buildup and I ended up cleaning the carbon on intake valves and intake manifold and I just finished and posted those videos. During the intake valve cleaning, I didn't hit the top dead center on one of the pistons, which meant the intake valves were slightly open and all the cleaning solutions that are poured into the intake valve chamber all leaked into the combustion chamber on top of the piston. I panicked momentarily since that was not the plan, but since it happened anyway, I decided to just let it soak overnight for about 10 hours. Next day, I vacuumed out the chem dip cleaning solution pretty thoroughly. Probably I was at it for about uh, several minutes using a 38 inch clear plastic hose that is attached to the shop vac. This way I can see what's getting vacuumed down. And then I looked into the cylinder with a bore scope and I was very happy to see that nearly half of the carbon on top of the piston simply melted into the cleaning solution and came out when I vacuumed. Also the remaining carbon looked pretty soft and I confirmed this by sticking a long skinny metal stick through the spark plug hole and scraped on the carbon on the top of the piston and confirmed it by looking at it from the bore scope that the carbon was actually soft. At this point, I was feeling pretty confident that if I drove on the highway for about 30 minutes, most of the remaining carbon would simply just burn off. So I put the old spark plug back just for this one cylinder so that I don't contaminate the, the brand new one. This was the first engine start after the impact valve cleaning and although I had vacuumed out probably 98% of the clean solution out of the combustion chamber, uh, I'm sure some still remained on the surface. So as soon as I started the car, white smoke spewed out of the exhaust for a few minutes as the car was burning off the remaining cleaning solution in the combustion chamber. I then took it out for aggressive driving on the highway for about 30 minutes. Then came back home and bore scope the piston top again and I was happy to see that more than 90%, maybe even 95% of the carbon had been completely removed from the piston top for this one cylinder. Before I was thinking I'll spray some seafoam through the air intake to clean the carbon, but I was thinking it may require multiple applications and I'm not even sure that it'll reach 90% of the carbon removal that way. So I was quite happy to soak the remaining five cylinders with the cleaning solution overnight. Next day, I vacuumed out all the cleaning solutions from all the cylinders and, and in between the vacuuming, I was using the bore scope to you know, peek in there to make sure I vacuumed out as much as I can. And then I put the old spark plugs back on and started the car with five cylinders getting carbon cleaned and I'm sure there are some cleaning solutions remaining in the combustion chamber. This time, I got a mosquito truck-like volume of white smoke blowing out the exhaust for five minutes, maybe slightly longer. And the engine ran slightly rough for a minute or two, but it was never bad enough to throw any check engine light. I then took it out for aggressive driving again on the highway and this time I swear I feel the car is a little bit more responsive. I'm glad that accidental feeling of combustion chamber forced me to try this method and in the future instead of spraying through the air intake I'll just use this method. That said I want to warn you that if you're not familiar with hydro locking you must go study what that is before you attempt this. Simply. If you leave sufficient amount of liquid in the combustion chamber, since liquid doesn't compress, the force of piston compression attempt will likely break or bend the piston connecting rod or uh, damage other parts. And that means you likely have just killed the engine. And this is what the hydro lock is. So if you're going to attempt this, make sure you have a bore scope because you need to validate that you have vacuumed out all the cleaning solution out of the combustion chamber. All right, all right, you can't vacuum out 100%. So slight piston top surface wetness is okay, but don't leave any puddle in the combustion chamber. For me, if I lower the piston head closer to the bottom dead center, my borescope camera was able to focus better and give me more accurate view of the entire piston top. And this also allowed me to spin the 3 8 inch 
plastic hose around to pick up any sitting liquid from all directions. Also notice that I cut the tip of the hose in slight angle so that when the hose reaches for outer edge as I spin it around, the hose tip can vacuum up the liquid more effectively. I'm gonna drive the car for a couple more days just to make sure that I completely burn off any loosened carbon. Afterwards, I'll swap back in the new spark plugs and also give it a fresh oil change just to ensure that my oil is not contaminated from soaking the combustion chamber overnight with cleaning solution. In the near future, I'm going to do the same piston carbon cleaning for three other cars I have. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.